Audio Jungle. Let us start now. For today's session, we have aerodynamic center and center of pressure. Aerodynamic center, center and center of pressure. Center of pressure. Okay. This aerodynamic center is uh, aerodynamic center is denoted by ac and center of pressure is what denoted by cp and in terms of distance wise it is denoted by xc and it is denoted by xp xp for center of pressure xc for aerodynamic center okay uh, that is the notation now <clears throat> one by one i uh, will see uh, generally <clears throat> uh, if you check the wing section of any aircraft suppose this is the wing so this is the wing part okay this is the wing of the airplane so in the wing if you go any cross section you can take uh, this uh, this if you go for this cross section if you go for this cross section this is blue part so whole whole part is what called wing uh, but uh, this section blue section if you check this is called airfoil it's called airfoil and this is what wing 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 is always 3d and air coil is always 2d so here if you check this for the 3d wing obviously span will be there for 2d span is what infinite actually span is not there okay? so and this whole length from leading is this is called leading is this is very basic i know this you know one in aerodynamics i will teach you that uh, uh, air airfoil nomenclature uh, naka series then uh, every part of the airfoil i will explain what is the camera line what is the cord line what is the leading edge radius what is the leading edge, everything but here in in short you try to understand the minimum length between uh, leading edge to cord uh, trailing is called as a cord line cord line and obviously this length will be called as a cord length which is denoted by c this is the basic idea okay. this is the basic idea about the wing the so cross section of wing uh, i mean it's just like you can say slice okay slice if you take if you cut uh, the uh, this uh, wing with perpendicular section so you will get one slice and that slice will appear this slice if you take outside so this slice will be like this only so this is called airfoil okay this is called air oil and if you check what is the span of this so span is what infinite that is the reason for the air foil span is what infinite this is the span okay so actually there is no span this is what infinite this is infinite so for air foil what is the span it is infinite that's the reason it is called infinite wing for the finite wing what is the span obviously it's a length that is a uh, root to cord this is what root this part is what sorry root to tip this is the root and this is the tip so distance between root to tip is called span so these all normal creature and all will be discussed in uh, 3d being and 2d being in aer aerodynamics but as i told you aerodynamic center and center of pressure which is related to being an airfoil so very brief description i'm uh, giving here so that you can understand easily okay now uh, <laughs> And, and obviously term will be used like cord line will be used this type of term will be used so you should know that that's the reason in brief i have explained here 
तो नाउ गोइंग फॉर द कैलकुलेशन ऑफ ओके डेफिनेशन एरोडायनेमिक सेंटर डेफिनेशन ऑब्वियसली विल गो फॉर एंड डिफाइन द एरोडायनेमिक सेंटर ऑफ बाय द डेफिनेशन आल्सो आई विल टेल यू बट इंपॉर्टेंट इज व्हाट द सम टाइम्स डेरिवेशन आल्सो सो वेरी शॉर्ट डेरिवेशन विल टेक सो दैट इजीली यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड ओके नाउ कमिंग टू दिस explanation about aerodynamic center and center of pressure one uh, air foil will take okay so we'll take here this air foil this is the air foil okay this is the air foil now and <clears throat> obviously for this air foil as i told you leading is and trailing is we have uh, so we can take the distance also at the same time this is what leading is and this is what trailing is okay now this distance from leading is to trailing is generally it is called full length okay generally if you talk about the full length so this full length will be what straight which is called length t but uh, at any distance distance if you any distance you will take so at that distance obviously it will be defined as x from where from leading is this is what leading is so the whole length between leading is and trailing is is nothing but chord that is denoted by c so here chord length if you say chord length is denoted by c the full length between leading is and trailing is now x is the distance from the leading is so obviously we'll take uh, 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 the uh, resultant of uh, that forces so i can say our force is what somewhere here on 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 the chord line i can take this two parts which is nothing but here you can take because this point you have taken here so now you take at x distance we are taking the forces okay that horizontal forces and obviously vertical force so that vertical force will give the uh lip force and that also i will give the name normal force n normal force n. okay that is at distance x now <clears throat> to to clear more this image also a better i will take just better i will take uh, just hold on to coming to this i will take this proper diagram for clear now it is fine so your chord this straight line between leading edge and trailing is nothing but chord and on the chord we are defining the, the point where uh, normal force is acting obviously this uh, horizontal force of will also be acting so this normal force okay now uh, i can take the moment about the leading edge Uh, the resultant moment about some arbitrary point i can take and that arbitrary point is what x so we can write here check this the moment moment uh, about uh, moment or or you can say resultant moment moment or you can say resultant moment moment about in very short i am trying to explain this about some some arbitrary points point on the chord line on the chord line on the chord line a distance a distance a distance x a distance x from leading edge from leading is le so a distance from leading is and that a distance is we have taken x which is taken from leading is some arbitrary point just say this point is what o it's your choice you can give any naming better naming i will define later on just think one arbitrary point where uh, uh that distance we have taken the moment about some arbitrary point on the chord line at distance x from the le leading is is what le okay 
so <clears throat> now the moment we are taken le bmx bmx then now check if i am going to take i am going to write the moment at any distance x at any arbitrary point so i just say this uh, point moment i am taking arbitrary point o and about this i am taking moment because it is at distance x so this moment will be defined as mx mx okay and obviously at the same time about leading is also we have a moment this is the leading is so about leading is also we have moment that is called mle so what is the mo mle simple mle is moment about leading okay so now check if I want to uh, write the moment equation, so how we will write? Now see, <clears throat> force what we have n, that is n and perpendicular distance is what x. n into x will be the force into perpendicular, distance, which is nothing but moment. Similarly, uh, we can write uh, moment about leading l you can write here so if you write moment then then about leading is what you can write at leading is what moment you have taken mle at this point uh, moment is what mx and about leading is if you take then force into perpendicular distance which is nothing but x and that moment you want to write the equation so what equation you will write see now and show you the mle that is the moment moment okay which is nothing but equal to moment MLE, which is nothing but at this point, what will be the moment? See, it is nothing but MX, MX, and moment about leading is this perpendicular force N into X, and this N into X, which is anti clockwise about leading is, then it will be minus x into x the force into perpendicular distance or distance into perpendicular distance into force will give the moment so this will be the moment equation mle is equal to mx minus x into n x into n this will be the a moment equation now coming to the uh, coefficient how to write the coefficient so you know i think coefficient uh, for the lift force and di drag force, you know, uh, like what is the drag force? Simple. If you want to write in coefficient terms, then how you can write? I will tell you here. Suppose lift is nothing but half so v square s. So this L uh, and drag is nothing but half so v square s into sorry. Uh, what L because it's a lift. Half rho v square, rho v square s in pd. So this is the force. But if you want to write moment, then what you will write? Force, v force half rho v square s into that coefficient. Uh, because it's a moment, so it will be cm just like a force. So pd will be the drag force coefficient, cl will be the lift force coefficient. But this is the moment, so moment coefficient will come cm. But now half rho v square s into c will be equivalent to force what is the moment moment is force into perpendicular distance and what perpendicular distance will come into picture that will be related to uh, the chord that will be related to chord because total moment will be half rho v square s m into c c is nothing but chord length always remember this is the way to write uh, the uh, chord length 
now concentrate here if i say i want cm then how you will write cm cm is nothing but moment coefficient moment right now if i want to write this in terms of a coefficient then what you will write so mle that is the moment about leading is now you have to write cm then how you can write cm to can write cm here cm is equal to what you will get m divided by half t square s into remember this cm is the moment coefficient and c is the odd length okay so there should not be any confusion in drag force you are not multiplying with chord okay half rho v square s into cd will be the force half rho v square s into cl will be the force that is lift force and drag force but if you talk about moment so moment is always force into chord length so force in the sense half rho v square s into c that c which is coefficient if it is moment then cm if it is drag into c, it will be cd if it is lift it is cl so this is now force and you multiply it by chord length then you will get moment hope you understood so now your cm is what m divided by now if you divide by this value half rho v square s c if you divide both sides then what you will get you will get moment this moment will be c m l e because this is the moment coefficient about leading is so this will be there this is the moment about leading is so here this will be moment coefficient about leading is m x will be what you just guess it will be m x okay because what you are doing simply see if you are getting confusion then again one more step i will write what you are doing actually you are uh, writing this m l e as it is and m x minus x n n is the normal force n is the normal force normal force. now check so you just divide both side by this value bracket value half root e square s into here also you have to divide half rho v square s into c here also you have to divide half rho v square s to c because to get coefficient you have to you have to divide by this bracket value i have shown you the steps so now this mle by rho half rho v square sc will be what cmle this value will be what cmle C M L E. Similarly, this value will be what C M uh, C M X, and it is minus X. Check this value. If I am not wrong, X by C you can take one side. X by C you will take one side. What you will get? N divided by half rho v square s. So n is fourth and half rho v square s. I told you this is the force equivalent. So what coefficient you will get? You will get C N. Why? Because if it is L by half rho v square, then it will be L. If it is drag by half rho v square s, then it will be CD. But this is N divided by half rho v square s, then it will be CN. Because this capital C you have taken in bracket. I hope this one is very clear. Ultimately, you got this uh, CMLE. CMLE is equal to you got CMX minus X by C into cn cn is always remember this is the normal force coefficient there should not be any confusion okay cn is normal normal force coefficient okay and c is the odd length x is the distance from Leading is CMLE moment coefficient at leading is CMX moment coefficient at point X. Hope this one is very clear. Okay. Now <clears throat> I am going to define what is the center of pressure and what is the aerodynamic center based on this. That's the reason I have uh, two steps derivation was there. In short, uh, I am talking 
this moment uh, aerodynamic center and center of pressure is very brief actually okay. now so by definition what is the aerodynamic center so aerodynamic center is the point about which the change in resultant moment with respect to the angle of attack is zero what is the aerodynamic center by definition if you check by definition so by definition if you go for the aerodynamic center so aerodynamic center i will write right here so you need to remember okay by definition aerodynamic center as i told you it is denoted by here i had given to go aerodynamic center is what noted by xc or noted by xac this is xp or in few books you may get also x uh, so both are, are the same xp or xc in few books in like clancy and all maybe xc and xp you will get but in few books like anderson you will get xac and xc in english same nothing to worry now coming to uh, aerodynamic center we are going to define so what is the aerodynamic center it is x how to define also you remember remember dear for one marks question they are asking okay from the definition also so the point listen the point the point about which the point about which the change in about which the change in change in ultimate moment moment with respect to with respect to the angle of attack of attack angle of attack zero also also you can define is the point is the point about about which about which in in resultant moment with respect to lift coefficient lift coefficient is is zero <coughs> also and right is the the point about which about which the resultant moment or or moment coefficient is constant these three definition but meaning are same one by one if you go through it is similar same thing this one okay this one and in first two points we are talking about change we are talking about change with respect to uh, angle of attack or with respect to lift coefficient uh, the change will be zero if change will change means what differentiation with respect to angle of attack or differentiation with respect to lift coefficient uh, will be zero that is one or in other way in few books you may get uh, it is constant, but at that time I am not using change. I am not saying change in resultant. I am saying resultant moment or moment coefficient is constant. So meaning is same. There is no change actually. So change in resultant moment coefficient is zero. That means depreciation is zero. Okay, and uh, and if you are saying only resultant moment or moment coefficient, obviously it is constant. It is constant. Then only depreciation will be right. So meaning will be same for both. 
okay i'm talking about uh, the same i mean see if you mathematical point of view if you want to write here just for your understanding so here i'm talking resultant moment with respect to angle of attack or you can write resultant moment or moment coefficient meaning is for writing the moment positive change with respect to what with respect to angle of attack to delta l alpha that is equal to this that's the meaning mean of similarly here if you go for this then change in resultant moment or moment coefficient so that will be with respect to what with respect to lip coefficient that means that is equal to zero and what is the meaning here moment about which resultant moment or moment coefficient means m is equal to constant or you can see this is the mathematical model for the aerodynamics so both the part i have explained and in theory also i have explained and mathematical model also i have explained now with this formula how to reach with that uh, with this formula how you can use for the aerodynamic center and center of pressure so now one by one we'll try to relate this equation if you are going for the uh, c if you are going for the aerodynamic center for the same i am saying uh, from from governing equation what is the governing equation from governing equation. now what is the governing equation we have checked uh, our governing equation is cmle is equal to cmle is equal to cmle minus into our governing equation okay so this is our governing equation because see guys a question from aerodynamic center and center of pressure they are asking listen carefully and i hope after listening after understanding this you will be able to crack the question in the way so this is our governing equation now we'll talk about for you just relate this for aerodynamic center how you will relate this how you will relate this governing equation to this now instead of instead of x what x we have what we can take we can say now x is equal to for aerodynamic center our location is what suppose aerodynamic center to then this point x will shift from somewhere uh, maybe my aerodynamic center is here then my x will be here so what is variable here x is variable x you change then somewhere you will get aerodynamic center again x you will change then somewhere you will get center of pressure okay so our job will be done now i am i am talking about aerodynamic center so x i have shifted to the xac what is the xac that is aerodynamic center so i i am just going to put this x value here in this governing equation we will put xac so what will happen now check no so now what will happen so we will get cm L E is equal to E M, okay, E L E M X, and obviously C M X, and instead of X, now we are going to X here, okay, minus instead of X, we are going to X A and by C. and obviously, right? I hope this one is very clear. Now, <clears throat> what we are going to do here, we can check in the same equation what we got here. Uh, EML is equal to again. I will write EML is equal to already we had EMX minus, and now we have so this CMLE and this CMLE both because CMLE this is the governing equation and the same governing equation CMLE is equal to I'm just paste instead of x I'm just going to paste x a c now this two equation one and two if you check CMLE is what common now we can equate this if you go and equate this then what you will get c you will get m x a c minus x a c by c into c n equal to x minus by c 
Now this CM X AC also you can write CM AC means teaching moment about aerodynamic center. X I can remove. CM X AC also you can write like this. Not be any confusion. This CM X AC you can write CM because aerodynamic center X is now on aerodynamic center directly you can write. Not be any confusion. Meaning will be same. Okay, that meaning will be same because. This CMAC is what it is saying. It is saying teaching moment coefficient about aerodynamic center. And what this CMXAC is saying, it is, it is also pitching moment about where X is aerodynamic center. So that meaning is same. Okay. So in short, this CMXAC also you can write like this. There should not be any confusion. Okay. In short, you can write. So now you can write CMAC minus XAC divided by C CN is equal to CMX minus x by c into right now if you check what is the cmac see this is very special okay they will ask pitching moment about aerodynamic center so you just cmx as it is you can write this value you can take this right side part if you take then it will be plus now this is what x by n minus x by c. what you will get Mx plus uh, Cn will be common bracket x is by c minus what the most of time happens they will ask what is the moment which the moment could speak about aerodynamics the moment about aerodynamics they will ask value they will give the details then you can easily calculate this is the pitching moment coefficient about aerodynamics center Okay, I will write here. But teaching moment, teaching moment or only moment, moment. How? Zero dynamic. That's the mean of. Okay. Now. <coughs> Can you tell me what is the definition as per definition of aerodynamic center? What is the aerodynamic center? See, aerodynamic center is the pitching moment coefficient with respect to alpha or pitching moment coefficient or moment coefficient with respect to lift coefficient will be zero. I mean, if you take the deri derivation of this, then that value will be zero. So why not we are going to take uh, differentiation, differentiation with respect to alpha or CL, anything you can take, it's your choice. Okay. If you take the moment about CM, this as per definition as per definition as per definition of aerodynamic center what is that moment about aerodynamic center or moment pitching moment or moment coefficient with respect to alpha or ch change of moment coefficient with respect to angle of attack is what zero that is aerodynamic center but here you are talking about aerodynamic center so this pitching moment coefficient about aerodynamic center means dcmac by d alpha will be zero or this uh, same thing you can write in few books you may get dcmac by dcl because change of uh, this moment coefficient with respect to lip coefficient or change of this moment coefficient with respect to angle of attack will be zero and where it is happening that point will be aerodynamic center that is the definition just now you have seen okay here just now you, you have seen here i have written this no? so use this and take this uh, equation cmac and just differentiate with respect to alpha so what you will get uh, what is the main equation we have here now cmac is equal to we have cmx uh, plus cn what was that it was xac by c minus x by c okay now we'll take the moment about uh, i will take the differentiation so what we can write dcm ac by d alpha is equal to dou cm x by dou alpha plus this is nothing but uh, dou cn differentiation you are taking both side so it will be dou cn by dou alpha in bracket x ac by c minus x by c okay 
now tell me what is this value can we say this will be now zero as per definition of aerodynamic center yes it will be zero so why i am doing this you will understood very easily because our motive to get aerodynamic center location so now ultimately you got zero is equal to what rho cm x by rho alpha plus rho cn by rho alpha in bracket x ac by c minus x by c this is the value my job is to get x ac that is the location of aerodynamic center with respect to chord so mm -hmm. i can take this bracket it this bracket will be rho cn by so alpha here x ac by c minus x y c this side it will be minus rho cm it will be minus rho cm i i i took that value that side rho cm x by rho alpha rho cm x by rho alpha see because this is this side zero you take this bracket opposite side okay or we just keep this bracket this value hold this side only rho cm by rho alpha send opposite side so it will be minus now i have written here now if you check what is the x ac by x ac by c minus x by c this value is nothing but you can write minus rho cm x by rho alpha divided by rho cn by rho alpha you can write like this yes or now coming to this final conclusion so or this you take x ac uh, you just send this uh, value this side so what you will get you will get final i will write i will write this this is very precious for us x ac is equal to this x by c will go this side x by c minus this is nothing but rho cm by rho alpha this is nothing but uh, that will be the ratio i will tell you what is this this is nothing but rho cm x by rho alpha divided by rho cn by so this formula is what categorized for the aerodynamics because what is the x ac by c this is the location of aerodynamics this is very important okay location of aerodynamic aerodynamic okay so <clears throat> always remember this location of aerodynamic center does not depend on magnitude of the aerodynamic coefficient isn't it it is depending no it is not depending again listen what i am saying location of aerodynamic center see x ac by c this is the location of aerodynamic center does not depend on the magnitude of aerodynamics coefficient it is not depending on the aerodynamic coefficient okay it is not depend on aerodynamic coefficient it is not depending on cm it is not depending on cl it is not depending on cd what is the aerodynamic coefficient aerodynamic coefficient means cl cd cm so we are not getting this aerodynamic center xac in terms of uh, cm cl or cd it is not it is ratio ratio in the sense do cm x by do alpha this is what slope this is the slope do cn by do alpha this is what slope it depends this is basically derivative okay so of question they can ask even i will ask when i will conduct online exam i will ask so your error okay i will write point so this is for gate now you fix in your mind this is very special point so what is the takeaway point what is the takeaway point in in aerodynamic uh, center analysis what is the takeaway point check number one what is the takeaway point your see this equation by this equation you can say x ac by c is nothing but aerodynamic center so here you can say aerodynamic aerodynamic center as per your analysis it is x ac by x ac by c is the aerodynamic center does not depend does not depend on aerodynamic coefficient always remember okay 
does not depend on aerodynamic coefficient. Uh, if I'm saying the coefficient means it is maybe CM, it is maybe CL, it is maybe CD. That is the aerodynamic coefficient. Okay, this is point one. Uh, coefficient that is, I have written CM, CL, CD. It is not depending. What is the next point then? Aerodynamic center. I will write again. This is also very important. Aerodynamic center. That means it's AC by C. Okay, depends, depends on, depends on derivative, derivative of aerodynamic coefficient. That is, what is the aerodynamic coefficient like? Huh? The aerodynamic, the aerodynamic coefficient, uh, I will write the aerodynamic coefficient with respect to, better with respect to full, com I will need to write angle of attack. Right. Okay. What is the aerodynamic coefficient in bracket? I will mention here aerodynamic coefficient with respect to angle of attack. That is like here, here uh, it is uh, dou CMX by dou alpha, you know, like dou CM by dou alpha or dou cn by dou alpha so this is what this is the derivative of aerodynamic coefficient with respect to angle of attack this is very important okay so always question will be asked to you aerodynamic center depends on derivative of aerodynamic coefficient or depends on the aerodynamic coefficient so you have to say aerodynamic center is what depends on the derivative of aerodynamic coefficient with respect to angle of attack or with respect to lip coefficient, meaning will be same. Do cm by do alpha, do alpha you say, or do cm by do cl you say, it will be same. I will tell you why it is same. Later on you will understand, but here you can understand do cm by do alpha or do cm by uh, do cl. Cl is the lip coefficient, meaning will be same. So this is very important takeaway points you have here. Okay, done. This is even though this is the calculation of aerodynamic center also. Okay. Now coming to the, similarly, we have to go for the center of pressure. So in center of pressure, I will not take so much time. I will just explain what is the center of pressure because we have the winding equation, we'll fix and satisfy that. So we'll talk about center of pressure. Today I will finish this center of pressure and aerodynamic center. Center of pressure is, as I told you, it is denoted by x or is noted by x is denoted by x c t huh? noted by x cp or x cp what is the definition of aerodynamic uh, sorry center of pressure simple the so center of pressure it is the point listen carefully the point about which about which the resultant about which the resultant moment is zero the point the point the point about which the point about which the moment coefficient is zero, meaning is same. There should not be any confusion. We can write the point about which the resultant moment coefficient zero. What is the mathematical? Uh, this is the theory. I mean, in word you can say like this, but what is the mean of it? Moment resultant moment is zero means about center of pressure, your moment will be zero. Okay, this moment will be zero, or you can write CM moment coefficient will be zero. About what? About center of pressure. Okay, <clears throat> about center of pressure on cent or on center of pressure, uh, your moment will be zero or pitching moment will be zero. That's the mean of it. Now, how to satisfy this? You have governing equation. Okay. 
you have the running equation now we'll go for the center of tension from governing equation okay what is the governing equation now if you go for the governing equation so you have the one equation it was let me check it was uh yeah cmle is equal to cmx minus x by c into cn so you can write this is nothing but c mle is equal to cmx divided minus x by c into Sir, you are not audible. Now, now, now I am audible. Yes, sir. No. Sorry. Uh, so CML is equal to uh, CMX. So I told you this instead of X, you can keep XCP. So it will be CMXCP, then CMXCP also you can write CMCP, meaning is same, just like in aerodynamics we did. And this X becomes XCP obviously divided by C into CN. So as per definition, okay, what is the a CMCP value? So if you check now, uh, this is the one, okay, this is the one equation. And earlier what you had CMLE, which was as it is CMX minus x by c into cn so if you equate this then what you will get you will get cm uh, c sorry cmcp this is now cmcp check it uh, cm cp uh, minus minus xcp by c into cn is equal to if you equate cmle value then it is cmx minus x divided by c into cn right yeah this is the value then as per definition of cm uh, center of pressure this cmcp will be what it will be zero now okay as per definition of center of pressure then finally what you got check it finally you will have finally you will have here uh, c xcp you are interested so xcp by c okay you can take this cn is equal to take uh, this value minus this side so what you will get you will get minus you just multiply both sides so it will be x by c this will be plus now into cn and this will be minus now because you have multiplied by uh, uh, this minus side now this is the minus multiply both sides so you will get this because i am interested in xcp by c because that is the center of pressure so xcp by c will be just uh, check x by c c and c and cancel out because it is dividing now minus cmx by yeah. this is what see very simple and this is very important actually okay this is very important very simple very important this is what this is the location of location of 
सेंटर ऑफ प्रेशर दे आर आस्किंग इन एग्जाम ओके एक्स सीपी बाई सी पी नाउ इफ यू चेक तो वट इज द वट इज द टेक अवे पॉइंट फॉर दिस वट इज द टेक अवे पॉइंट फॉर दिस अगेन आई विल शो यू द विद द इक्वेशन वन यू कैन से द लोकेशन ऑफ एक्स सी पी ओके एक्स सी पी इज द लोकेशन इज द सेंटर ऑफ प्रेशर एंड नाउ टेक अवे पॉइंट जस्ट लाइक एन एरोडाइनमिक सेंटर यू कैन राइट टेक अवे पॉइंट वट यू अंडरस्टूड हियर सी just like in aerodynamic center what you two points you made the point about which sorry here yeah, the, the aerodynamic center x ac by c does not depend on aerodynamic coefficient but what you have to write here what you have to write you have to write just opposite for the uh, center of pressure because in center of pressure we have cm cm is the aerodynamics In, uh, aerodynamic coefficient. Because why it is aerodynamic coefficient? Because this Cn is the normal force, but this Cn can be anything. Now this Cn can be even though pitching moment, this Cm can be uh, even though it is scale, the lift coefficient. This Cn can be anything. Cd also. It depends. Yes or no? So here you can uh, say. Uh, uh, here you can say for the take in, in terms take away point. First point you can. What point you will get this? The location of center of pressure. Uh, of center uh, of it uh, does not or does not 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 depend not depend on on the the Derivative of aerodynamic does not depend on the derivative of aerodynamic. It is the angle of attack, or, or simply you write the angle of attack of x. Right, this the first point. Second, what is the point you have? You have here. Was the first point. You can say location of 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 pressure depends on depends on magnitude. Magnitude zero dynamic. Why? Why it is depending on zero dynamic coefficient? Because if you change the C n value, if you change the C n value, your x C p will change. So C n is what it's a zero dynamic coefficient. Maybe C m, maybe C l, maybe C p. Lift coefficient or drag coefficient. If C n is going to change, means C n or C p are going to change, and x C p will change. That's the mean of. So for that reason, if you uh, go for the change of any lift coefficient C l, then your center of pressure will. 
But if you change CL or CD, then your aerodynamic center can't be good. So any any changing in uh, lift coefficient or drag coefficient uh, uh, in in case of the uh, here in, in case of the uh, uh, aerodynamic center, uh, then obviously aerodynamic center will not change. But of pressure will change in the lift coefficient or drag coefficient. But in case of uh, in case of aerodynamic center, it will not change. Does not depend on the uh, magnitude of CLCD, uh, but derivative it will be depending. But here, in case of uh, center of pressure, it is not depending on derivative. It is depending on uh, coefficient. So just opposite to each other. So this is the complete explanation for uh, aerodynamic center as well as for operation.